It's Star Trek, the next generation, Danny Chow, Justin Verrier, talking about Joel Embiid this time. Just a phenomenal season last year, but it kind of hit a brick wall Oh, in, uh, in the second round series against the Celtics. Uh, and this is kind of where we would love to see Joel Embiid get better. Horford is maybe, what, three, four inches shorter than Embiid, but just holds his ground so well and forces Embiid to take a tough fadeaway, which he probably shouldn't need to, to do. You get into situations like this where he be kind of he kind of becomes a little bit of a black hole. Right. And when you have so many other options on the court, especially when he's sharing the court with Ben Simmons, things get clogged up and they become a little bit too predictable. You run this play where he's facing Horford again. Again, someone who's much shorter than him. He doesn't gain any leverage on him. Right, and he, he gets into situations where he could overpower so many people in the league, but someone like Horford who understands leverage and is a little bit more crafty with how he goes about defending guys, he just can't power through him. And I think it last postseason was a really good lesson for him. He kind of came up against a wall, as you said, against someone who can maybe match what he can do, and now he has to figure out another option. So a little bit less of this, I would say, and a little bit more of just a standard pick and roll, pick and pop setup. Right, but even in this play, you see how he uses his physicality, but does it in a different way. He does it in space, first of all, and is able to take advantage of his skills. It's just a blending of all the good things that he does well, whereas going into the post really just relegates him to a pretty traditional, one-dimensional sort of guy. If I'm a coach, I'm envious of Brett Brown because there are so many different ways in which you can maximize Joel Embiid's potential, but just more of that. I, I don't think, and Embiid, among most of the centers, was not rolling on pick and rolls nearly as much as most of the star big men. Right. I think that's a very easy way to get quick, quick points, uh, quick flow in the offense. It's a no-brainer to me. A little bit less predictability, a little more versatility and variety, I would say. Yeah.